What's up guys, this is Oliver from the Wow TOD Show. This will be a quick tutorial on how to get Dolphin, which is a GameCube emulator on your PC or Mac. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on Mac mostly just because this is the system that I use, but it's pretty much the same for PC. Uh, so yeah, here's how you get to it. So, you know, let me show you real quick. So this is exactly what it looks like. I have 5.0, but unfortunately the, the real website, like the official Dolphin website's down right now, I think, or something's not loading for me. But here's still a website you can still get it from, dolphinemulator.com. This is 4.0. There's 5.0 right now, out right now, so maybe it'll come out later for it. But it should be the same thing. You just download it right there. Put the link in the description, and I'll put the official website too in the description. But yeah, here I'll show you exactly how this looks. Um, here you go. See, here's the thing though. I have all these games, uh, copies of the game, so just so you know that you download mostly games you have. I don't know. There's legal issues there, or there can be. There could be. But here you go. So here's all the games that I have. Let me show you exactly how it looks first, too. Another cool thing is I'm also using a PlayStation 4 controller, which is actually uh, oh, my PS4. See, it's, it's all there. You set it up like this after you put it to Bluetooth. Basically, you know, you set up your... See here, you set up your uh, PS4 controller through your Bluetooth on your computer, PC, Mac, whatever you have, and you can configure it on Dolphin when it's open. But yeah, here's... Uh, Melee, show you how it works. So I just press the button there. And, uh, it's a little laggy because I'm recording a video, but you have it all here. It works. No problems at all. But yeah, so what we want to do though is you'll download this, you'll open it up. This will all be empty, uh, nothing will be here. And then, so you set up your controller, whatever you want to do. You can also use a wired controller. Just need to just go to the controllers, uh, configure what kind of controller it is. Like I have two PS4 controllers that are that are wireless, that are both set up as one and two. I'm using one right now, obviously, but you can configure it. You press the buttons that correspond. Uh, as you see, the buttons, those things light up, so you're good there. Um, I usually went with the controller, basically the scheme on the GameCube controller. You do whatever you want, though, obviously. But yeah, so here's how to get the games. The best, and I'll show you how that works. So. Actually, I downloaded, this is the site I use, muparadise.com, dot me, actually, sorry. You go to ROMs, ISOs, which is what the files are for GameCubes, GameCube games, and you have all the games here, whatever you want to download. But here's a game, actually, that I own, just remember that. You also need a program, like a WinRAR, or a zip program, anything like that. I have the Unarchiver on the Mac. And uh, basically, you open up your file after you download it, and it's going to extract. Now, once it's done done extracting you're gonna get the ISO file out of it um, I'll let this run for a little bit so you actually can see real time how long this takes you get the ISO file which did look like this they're all ISOs and uh, I usually just do open with and then I'll open with dolphin it will load into dolphin I quit the emulation process then you'll hit refresh and it'll just add it all to a list here I love all these games though too by the way these are all my favorite games uh, this one not so much. I just have it because my childhood. A lot of these games I've been playing because they were part of my childhood. Double Dash is fun if anyone wants to play that. Uh, I'd get Super Mario Sunshine, Luigi's Mansion. Where's that right here? Uh, I can show you that too while that other loads. But yeah, this is how you get it, and here you go. See, it works. This one works too. I haven't started a game yet, but see here, it runs really smoothly. I put it into full screen real quick. See, that's just. Also, a whole thing. That's just like loading it and everything. That looks really well. Yeah, so yeah, you'll see that they, uh, on the top, I don't know if you can read that, but it said GameCube memory card. So they give you like a fake memory card. You'll just click this to set it up. And then you go to here, here, and here, B and A, whatever, and then you click open, basically. That's how it works. And then you can save your games. So yeah, here we go. Uh, we're getting on the end of this ex uh, extracting. So now it's gone. So you just go to your finder or whatever you have to look up your files. Um, I usually just search it up. So I, it was SpongeBob movie game, another one of games from my childhood. So you look it up. See, so the ISO file. I usually just put them in the folder so it's easier to manage. Um, I don't know what these ones are. I'll put these back in here in this one. And then just do this. I go open with Dolphin. I let it load and make sure you know that's working properly. Get rid of that. Okay, it looks good. Frames per, section's all, frames per second is all good. And I exit. And then I come back to my list. I refresh. And there's the game. And also, you see it comes with a rating. So now, 
I usually go if if the game has full or like one less, it's not really a big deal. Uh, this one actually was good though, but just was not set by somebody. But this one's good. I would rate it full almost. Uh, yeah, but like, that's basically how you get GameCube emulators on Mac. Um, it's pretty similar to PC, but this is basically Mac. Uh, yeah, hopefully this is easy enough for you guys to understand. I'll put all the links, all the links in the description to the websites I use, even the official Dolphin emulator site because the other one, this one, the, the official one's not working right now. But yeah, so. That's how you do it. Thanks, guys.